Thank you. All right, I think we're good to go. Do you want me to uh, kick it off, Commissioner? Yes, thanks, Phil. Okay, so welcome everybody to the City of Battle Creek Airport Advisory Board. Today is September 26th, 1 p.m. This is the virtual uh, meeting, so we'll start off with the roll call. Uh, Commissioner Jim Lance. Present. Amy Marciano Ratliff. Present. Kara Beer. Present. T.R. Shaw. Present. Vester Davis. Present. Kelly Scott. Present. Uh, Alana White. Present. And I have uh, Joe Soborowski, Ted Deering, uh, and Dan Kramer uh, have responded to me as not being available today. Great. Well, thanks, thanks for, for running to the, the roll call. Uh, I think you have the agenda up. Um, Let's look, uh, has everybody had a chance to review and approve the agenda? I, I'm assuming yes. Um, do we need to actually formally approve the agenda? If, if we do, can I get a quick motion? So moved, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. Do we have a second? Second, Kara. Okay, any discussion on the agenda? Hearing none, all those in favor of, of approving the agenda, say aye. 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 <clears throat> Any opposed? Okay, the agenda uh, is, is approved. Next line item is the uh, meeting minutes from the June 20th, 23 uh, advisory meeting. Uh, if I get a motion as well. So moved. Investor. Thanks, Lester. Support, support Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. It's been moved and supported to approve the uh, June 20, 23 regular meeting minutes. Any discussion? All those in favor of, of approval say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Hearing none, the approved uh, minutes have been approved. Um, Next line item is any old business. Any discussion for old business? Doesn't sound like any. So we'll move to new business. Um, Phil, city staff. Awesome, thank you, Commissioner Lance. Uh, thanks for joining everybody. Today I'm gonna walk uh, us through my kind of normal update, but I've got some uh, exciting updates for everybody. So I hope we're uh, ready for that. I have on here the, the ALP schedule, our ALCMS approval, our ATCT generator approval, and I put MDOT planning meeting, but I kind of uh, made that really upcoming events for the airport. So I'll stop sharing the agenda right now and I will go to this one over here. Everybody see my screen? Yes, I see you. You see me? Do you see the airport? Da, 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 no. da. Do you still see the PowerPoint or do you see the presentation? No, we just see you. Okay, just me. Let me see here. I will go to this one. Sorry. All right. Looks like that's working better. How's that now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Sorry about that. So um, I will go into the ALP that has officially been approved. Um, and I'll tell everybody about how that process is going to work because I know we've been talking about this ALP and master plan update for a long time now. I'll get into our ALCMS grant that was also approved, our ATCT generator grant that we're working on sending to the commission and then some uh, important upcoming airport events that are going to happen. And I'll have some leave room for some questions at the end here. 
So yes, the ALP or the airport airport layout plan is officially um, underway. It's officially begun. What does that mean, and how does that affect the airport and the city and the region? So really, the first part of this process is having um, some initial tasks and some meetings just set up. We're we're really truly having a kind of a kickoff meeting with Meet and Hunt, who's the lead consultant on this project in October. Uh, what that will entail is really telling the airport some benchmarks. Uh, that Mead and Hunt will need to meet, some benchmarks at the airport will need to meet, some dates um, that we're looking to complete certain items by. One of the nice things that I like about this process is we will have the consultant come to the airport advisory board. So they will, um, if you are a part of the airport advisory board, kind of during the um, authority process and how we had um, consultants come through that. You'll see something similar with the ALP update, how you'll have uh, Mead and Hunt come in, give everybody an update on what they've done so far, what they're working on, and uh, what they hope to accomplish over the next three months or so. Uh, so we're just starting that off. We've had the airport staff uh, work with some contractors to come out here, um, complete a couple initial tasks. What are some of those initial tasks over the next few months? LIDAR flights. Um, and it's just fancy talk for lasers being uh, projected from an aircraft to go down and measure distances uh, so they can get a look at rooftops, treetops. More importantly, uh, they really build a 3D model of the airport so that we are aware of obstructions so that we can build out our proper Part 77 surfaces. So the FAA uh, wants to know what is in your approach path, what's in your departure path, what's in your transitional path, what's in your conical path. So all these different imaginary surfaces that surround the airport, um, this laser detection coming from these aircraft will give us an exact distance of how high this tree is, how high this building is, and we can map out. And that's all part of one of the requirements for our ALP. Um, you'll see surveys of the actual airport. So we'll take uh, surveys of what is actually here. So buildings, navigational equipment, lights, signs, runways, taxiways, lengths, widths, you name it, those will all be a part of it. Uh, we will have some planning meetings, like I said, and then we'll do, again, part of that kind of data gathering um, is really getting an understanding of, it's, it's a very technical drawing, but every single thing that is inside the fence and at the airport will be listed uh, on this ALP. So there's a lot that goes into this first part of the ALP and it's just getting underway. So any questions on the ALP or any um, thoughts or, um, you know, kind of what the airport will be doing or what the city will be doing uh, over these next just couple months? And this will be, this will really don't worry, if you don't have any right now, that's fine. This will be a, a continuous process. It's gonna take about 18 months to complete everything. So this is really gonna be a very important document guiding the airport, not just for the next couple of years, but over the next 10 to 20 years. Um, so you kind of see it as your, your current short-term and long-term goals for this airport. So it, it really is a, a guiding um document that the FAA and the state are going to use to fund airport projects, um, see what tenants need, see what the city needs, see where aviation is going into the future and how we can take advantages or how we can take advantage of different opportunities. So we're very excited for that. Um, the ALCMS, that's another grant that I've been talking about, the Airport Lighting Control and Monitoring System that was approved by the FAA, MDOT, and the City Commission. So what does that all mean? The FAA has to even though we are awarded the grant, they still have to approve it and sign it. Then they send it to MDOT Office of Aeronautics because we are a block grant state. So what that means is the Office of Aeronautics takes every grant that the FAA sends to airports and they approve it. So we got approval from the Department of Transportation, Michigan Department of Transportation. Once they've signed it, they send it to us. We send it to our city commission. They look at it. And if they approve it, uh, the city manager is able to sign that, and then we can really begin or start the project. So we've gotten all three of those signatures and all three of those approvals for this grant. We have the equipment on site, and we're hoping to, over the next uh, month or two, get the system actually 
uh, installed and working. And again, that system oversees all of the airfield lights. Uh, this isn't our runway, but it gives you a good idea of what a pilot would see from the air. So you've got some approach lights, you've got some edge lights, um, you've got taxiway lights, you've got miles and miles and miles of lights that the system has to monitor and that controllers can actually turn on and off. Um, so it's a very important piece of safety and navigation equipment to pilots, but also uh, our staff here, our operators, when they're out there, if they have to be out there at night or inclement weather, uh, such as snow, um, these lights obviously help everybody navigate the runways and taxiways. So it's very uh, exciting. So any questions on the ALCMS? We should have that, like I said. Uh, Can you advance your slide, Phil? What'd you say? Can you advance your PowerPoint slide? We only see the first slide. Is that oh, yeah, sure. I'm sorry about that. I think I was, uh, so this is what I was talking about here with our updates. Um, I think you guys are just seeing the second one. It has me in presentation mode, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so that's just kind of a picture of what everybody will see uh, from the air, from a pilot's perspective. Again, it's not our specific runway, but it's a pretty good, it gives a pretty good idea of what pilots can uh, can see in some of the lights that can get worked on from, uh, or what can get monitored by this system. Thanks, Vester. Sorry about that. So the next grant that I had talked about uh, back in June, and really even uh, as this process was going on, since we heard about these two grants at the end of March, beginning of April, the second one was this uh, air traffic control tower generator replacement. We were waiting on a Buy America waiver approval, which we received. Uh, so that was very important, but we still had to have the FAA sign off and approve this as a project, even though they had approved the grant. They officially did that uh, about a week and a half ago. Uh, the uh, I think it was the 17th, the FAA approved it. The state just approved it. And now we'll work um, with our purchasing department and our legal department to get that to the city commission. Hopefully on October 17th is where we're kind of planning to put that on there. Um, Again, what is that doing? That's a natural gas powered generator. So it's gonna have a really an unlimited supply of natural gas. So if you think of a diesel powered generator that just runs on the, the diesel that you have on site, you have to continue to uh, refill it if you need to. Ours is older, ours is as old as the tower. So it's about 18 years old. It's reached really it's past its useful life. There's some other pieces of equipment there like some transfer switches um, that'll also get replaced. Uh, so it's gonna allow us to one, use natural gas, which is better for the environment um, and a more sustainable fuel, whereas we're just getting that from the gas line, whereas we would have to, again, constantly use diesel to be um, running the generator. It's going to only be supporting the air traffic control tower. So if we did have a power outage hit some other portion of the airport or some other piece, whether it was this building or a, a Western or Duncan or the guard base, it wouldn't necessarily power those. It would only power air traffic control tower equipment. So that ALCMS, radio equipment, anything uh, that they are using to um, really up in the in the tower. So phones, computers, all that type of equipment. So we're hoping to get that um, on the city commission on October 17th. That project from start to finish is probably gonna take about a year because uh, they'll have to or the generator, install the generator, uh, change out all the equipment that's associated with the generator. And uh, we'll be working with a construction manager and a contractor for all that. So any questions on either of those grants? Get into really the last piece, which is our, some kind of important upcoming events for the airport. We're gonna have a, uh, Snow and Ice Control Committee meeting coming up on October 25th. And what that is, is a meeting that every airport that experiences snow and or ice. So think of an airport outside of Florida. Um, all of these airports all over the country are going to have these types of committees and these types of meetings to go over a snow and ice control plan or snow and ice control program that they have. So it's an annual meeting we have in the fall and every airport usually has in the fall to 
relay information to the users of the airport. So in our case, Western, Duncan, uh, any GA uh, pilots or T-hanger pilots, the Guard, WACO, and uh, the FAA that we have here that has their flight inspection field office out of here. It's going to give them an idea of if anything has changed or been added or taken out of last year's snow and ice control plan. So uh, that's an annual event that we have that'll happen towards the end of October. Uh, and again, it's really primarily focused on snow removal. So um, can't believe that's already coming up, but that's only a month away. Uh, the next big meeting that we'll have is on Halloween. That's our Michigan Airport Planning or MAP meeting that we'll have with MDOT Aeronautics, the FAA, um, ourselves, and our airport consultant. We're actually going to meet in person in Lansing, which is kind of nice. Um, so we're going to talk over any future projects we want to have at the airport. So these are ACIP grants, so these are FAA grants that we're going to be requesting from the FAA um, to either maintain enhance or build uh, or really purchase anything at the airport in terms of lighting equipment, snow removal equipment, taxiway and runway rehabilitation or reconstruction addition removal. Um, they These items would have to qualify for these grants or any of these projects would have to qualify for these type of grants. Uh, but we're excited for this because it obviously kind of falls in line with our ALP starting up. So we have some ideas of what we'd like to do in the future, but we want to get ahead of some of the um, funding opportunities by getting in line now instead of waiting for 18 months to say, oh, yeah, by the way, we now that we've done our ALP, we know we need um, additional snow removal equipment or we need to work on this taxiway it needs. Uh, rehabilitation or reconstruction or crack sealant. Uh, we can actually go to the FAA and the state every year. This is an annual meeting and let them know what we need from a planning and construction perspective. Uh, and then finally, if you happen to be at the November 21st City Commission meeting, I will be giving my staff presentation. So every department uh, director within the city uh, has chosen a month or was voluntold a month. Uh, mine is November. I'll be giving a city. I'll be giving a presentation to the city commission. Last year I did snow removal. Um, still TBD on what the entire presentation will be. Last year I was told it was a little long by some staff members. I actually got a lot of questions from uh, city commissioners and from other people even in the audience afterwards. So I think people are very interested and excited about the airport, especially with um, you know the possibility of more UAS and more drones and more of that coming to the west side and the possibility of the guard bringing on some equipment in the future. So um, November 21st, that'll be the second commission meeting in November. I will be giving my presentation. Um, so if any of you folks want to go to that one, I will definitely be at the commission meeting on the 21st. Any questions or comments on any of those events or just the airport in general? Thanks, Phil. Uh, and, and again, congratulations on, on, on the grant for the uh, the lighting. Thank you. And thank you for the yep. approval. It makes it a lot easier when I bring the grants uh, up there and they get approved. So thank you for that. Yeah, excellent. Um, Centennial Committee, is TR here? I believe he is. Yep. Um... Hello, uh, let me see if I can, I got some stuff to share here. If I can, can I share this? Uh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, can you see this? Well, this is basically, I'm just gonna go, this is the slideshow we put together for this to go out to the public. I've done a couple of them, but there's one slide and I just wanna put up here to make you aware of. Uh, we are, Progressing quite well. We're working uh, hard. We got a good group of people. All of you are invited to participate in it as it's coming up, and it's coming up quick. Uh, some of the events coming up. We're working on a book. We're still looking for funding for that. Um, we have a an, an editor who is working with us on that, a historian who's uh, doing the lion's share, putting it together. We've got a lot of pictures, and that's going to be a, a big uh, event. We have uh, just some of the events coming up. Uh, hopefully we're going to participate in the Christmas parade, get a little recognition for the airport doing that. 
Uh, the month of March, we're going to have a student uh, art exhibit at the Battle Creek Arts Center this fall. And over the winter, we've gone out to the schools to engage students uh, in aviation art and to learn a little bit about the airport and then have an aviation art exhibit. Uh, May, we have uh, the Brass Band of Battle Creek Concert is going to do a salute to aviation as part of the concert. We're going to do some things in the lobby and have a little awareness of the airport at that event. Uh, of course, next summer, the field of flight, we're not exactly sure yet what how we're going to be involved with that, but we're going to try and do something with that. In July, we have uh, an aviation lecture uh, we're going to hopefully have at the Battle Creek Historical Museum and hopefully put together a history symposium on the history of aviation and uh, bring in a few authors who have written books about aviation. Uh, the big, couple of big events, the two main events we're doing in August, we're working on an open house for the airport, and that's still in the works. Uh, we envision a fly-in, uh, working with AOPA, doing tours of some of the uh, tenants out there, uh, bringing in some static displays. We're working with the Yankee Air Museum to bring in some vintage aircraft and primarily make it a community and educational event for the airport. And then September of next year is going to be our grand event at Western uh, we are going to have the plaque dedication. We've got our large formal plaque uh, in the works right now, and that'll be the highlight of everything. And uh, that's still in the works. We're going to make that probably a community event and have uh, uh, some aviation related speakers and really recognize that's right around the time frame. The slideshow that I have here is one I've gone out to clubs and uh, I've done one already, and I've got two more set up. I'm um, reaching out to uh, local service clubs, community organizations, and just to talk about the airport, talk about what we're doing and raise interest in the airport. Uh, one of the other things that we just to show you here real quick, we've uh, set up a Centennial Legacy Fund with the Battle Creek Community Foundation. This is our funding vehicle that we're, we're going to go out and raise funds to do some of these events. Um, it's just a scan. You can scan the QR code to go directly to the foundation, make a contribution, um, this fund is a 501c3, which will help with raising money for this. And at the end of it, when it's all done, this is going to convert over to an aviation scholarship. And that will be a big scholarship fund that we'll have. And basically, those are just uh, some of the slides. We've got a lot of information. Um, our next uh, centennial meeting will be Thursday, October 19th, out at the airport, if anybody wants to come and attend. Uh, it's moving along and hopefully we'll uh, raise some awareness for the airport. There's so much good things going on out here that um, anything we can do to help the community know about it and to really raise the awareness is, is all good. So if anybody wants to join me, uh, welcome your attendance and uh, any questions, just reach out to me and let me know. And um, if you know of any programs or any clubs or anything that want a presentation, I'd be more than happy to come out and talk. So anything else, Penny, to add? Or Phil? Okay. Thanks. Thank you, TR, and 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 committee members. Um, looking at the next item is is the next meeting. Uh, is there any preference for the fourth or the eleventh? Does anybody have any real? Um, Objection to either date or one or the other. All right. Why don't we, why don't we set it for the fourth? Fourth it is. All right. <clears throat> is there uh, it, any public? Do you want it on the, I'm sorry. sorry, Commissioner? Do you want it on the same day on that Tuesday on the actual? Yep. Okay. We'll send that out. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll send that out. It's actually December. the fifth. Oh, yeah, it's technically the yeah the fifth. So we'll send that out for December fifth at one. So you everyone should see that today. Perfect. Uh, is there any public comment? We have no one in the waiting room, Commissioner. All right. Any members comment? Wonderful. Well, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, I think we are adjourned.